Yo, what up guys? Welcome back. Dylan here, and I'm going to be getting into my experiments recently with EQ. <clears throat> um, basically, what EQ does is it crashes my estrogen 100%. So I have blood tests to confirm it, and I've done the experiment two times now at different dosages, and it's happened both times. So I just kind of want to get this out there just to have the info and um, people who run EQ uh, they do things the right way. Uh, I'll get into like, you know, how to do your blood blood test to make sure your shit's dialed in and, and all that. But uh, basically, my experiment that I did um, a couple months back was I did EQ at like a super high dose, um, 800, and my test was around like 200. And uh, you know, got the bloods in. I felt like shit. So I was like, yeah, my you know, my estrogen's probably crashed and all that. Um, you know, felt like shit. Um, got the blood test back. <clears throat> estrogen, undetectable. E2 was uh, the one that matters, the, est the estradiol, undetectable. And then my um, E1 was actually like sky high, which is another kind of estrogen. But um, that was actually a false reading, and I confirmed that with my most recent blood test. So don't worry about that. I just wanted to just let you know. But yeah, my E2 was, um, my, my estrogen was straight tanked. Um, undetectable, un unreadable. And I was like, oh fuck, okay, like, you know. And if your estrogen's low, you're not you're not making any gains. So I was like, oh fuck, okay, um, let's get this shit in. Uh, Stop the EQ. Waited a couple months. Wait for it to clear my system. <clears throat> you know, I read more online. Um, well, I already read enough online. I knew that online, you know, it was like one to one ratio was common. Nobody said why, but it was common at that. And um, yeah, so I, I was like, all right, I'll do it the right way this time. You know, I got my, my test um, recently and my EQ one to one ratio, 350 on both of them, 350 milligrams a week. And I'm like, okay, like this makes a little more sense, whatever, everybody does this. Did that for, you know, whatever, a couple weeks and then got my bloods in and uh, estrogen undetectable this was like my most recent blood my most recent blood work undetectable it said less than 2.5 so they the, the test can't even read it keep in mind both of these tests are the the LC MS MS test which are the sensitive tests which is a good one and unreadable so yeah I'm like all right I'm not fucking with EQ because that's a, a one to one ratio and um, it's not even readable Plus, on top of that, I'm taking HCG, which is supposed to raise your estrogen like a little bit, um, and it's still undetectable, so I'm like, all right, dude, fuck that. Uh, I'm not going to fuck with EQ. The only time I could see myself doing EQ is if I'm having my test dose like super high, like 600 plus, and um, I need something else anabolic, and I want to control my estrogen. That's why I would do it. I would use my... EQ as an aromatase inhibitor. That's the only thing I would use it in place of my aromasin or arimidex. I would use it in place of that. That's the only thing I personally see it being used for um, because it's so strong that it kills my estrogen. Um, keep in mind this could be individual per person so you just need to get your shit checked. Um, but but yeah the individual differences uh, could could make a big difference you know because it's, uh, it, it changes into a molecule that supposedly is what causes it, that it acts as an aromatase inhibitor. I believe it was like ATD or ADT, I, I don't know, it's, um, it's, it's online, you could read it, but that's, uh, that's basically, it changes into a molecule in your body and different people can metabolize it at different rates. So some people, it might, um, it might change into this molecule uh, more easily or less easily and it might not even act as an aromatase inhibitor and actually aromatize very unlikely from what I've read and from my personal experience, but it's a possibility that your body could, could metabolize this in a different way. So keep that in mind <clears throat> and you need to get your blood work done. And EQ, the special blood work you need to do is, um, or, or the way you need to do it is early on, not like your regular like middle of the cycle blood work where you're just doing health markers and shit, nah, um, you still need to do that like halfway, eight, nine weeks in, do that still. But when you're gonna run EQ, you need to do a early, early test and make sure you have to do it right. You can't just, you can't, I know I said I, I was like a couple weeks in, but I wasn't actually. 
um, I had a front load and I made sure my levels were stable. That's how you need to make sure and do your EQ blood test. You need to make sure your testosterone and your EQ is stable, 100% um, stable. And EQ is a long, long ass ester, so you can't just go in like, oh, I've been shooting my, you know, I've just been doing my EQ and test for four weeks, uh, I'll get the blood in. Nah, don't do that. Um, you can only do, you, you, I'll, I'll post a link for people who aren't familiar with it. It's a really good um, resource. It's called Steroid Calc. You can see when your um, esters are fully stable, and that's when you need to get your blood work done. You need to do it three or more weeks after your, your test and EQ are stable because there is a lag time with aromatizing from the test. No matter what, if you have EQ or not, there's a lag time, about three weeks, three or four weeks. And um, with the EQ, it's a long ester, so I've, I personally long, like to front load EQ. Simple front load, I'm not gonna get into it, just a simple front load format. First week, you double your doses on the first two and um, yeah, you just do double, and uh, that's a simple front load. And then you do that, wait, I would say four weeks if you're gonna have EQ, so front load the first week, normal testosterone dosage, wait four weeks, and then do your E2 blood test, make sure it's LC, MS, MS, so it's sensitive, and get that shit tested at four weeks in after the front load. If you're not gonna front load the EQ, you, you have to look on steroid calc and see when your levels are stabilized because it's going to take forever. It's going to be like six to eight weeks. And um, that's another reason to like not want to do EQ because like you have to maybe wait that long to see when your, your levels are, are right. It just, it just sucks. And that's why I wanted to do this trial and error experiment to help people out. Um, if you're gonna, if you like have to do EQ, you're like sold on it, kind of like me, it's kind of like perfect, you know? It's like, I ran at 800, like no hair loss. Um, it's anabolic, double as much as testosterone. It increases your red blood cell count, which I needed because mine were low, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be vascular. It increases your cardio because of that. Um, increases your appetite, you know, you're like, oh, perfect. And then like none of these side effects, you know? No acne, no oily skin, no, 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 none of that. But then it fucks your, your estrogen. Um, so it kind of comes down and, and fucks you in the end. Um, so if you're going to do EQ, do the blood work like I said. And um, I would only recommend it if you're going to be super dosing your, your uh, testosterone or you need an aromatase inhibitor. Uh, that's what I would recommend it for if you're going to have a lot of aromatizing compounds and you're not running at like too crazy of a dose. Maybe a dose, if you're gonna try to run it, I would just say like a one to two dose, um, one part EQ, two parts testosterone dose. That's what I would say to do to start out. Um, or just do like a one to one and then get your blood work tested at the intervals that I, I mentioned. That's the only way I would recommend EQ. Um, and you know, just keep in mind, this is just my experience. Um, everybody's going to be different and I'm just putting this out there because <clears throat> it'll help somebody and like maybe somebody doesn't want to get blood work they feel good like no nah, my estrogen's good I kind of felt good this past whatever this past blood test I thought my shit was going to be fucking dialed in but no nah, it's undetectable and just keep in mind estrogen you might think it's bad um, for anybody that knows for people who do know you're not making any gains when your estrogen is tanked it's just not happening so I've wasted some time now Kinda, I got this experience done, and uh, I got this information out there. I know some places like Reddit online, Reddit is like all claiming EQ fucks your estrogen, and you go anywhere else, and it's like nobody even talks about that. So uh, I'm glad I got it out there, confirmed it for myself. Um, I will not use EQ unless I need to lower my estrogen, which is in very specific cases. So. Yeah, that's that. Um, I just wanted to get that information out there. Uh, my cycle I had was canceled. Um, I, I have another. I had another compound backup. I'll get into that in another video. But yeah, I'm just let my estrogen kind of balance out. I do feel a lot better already. I've been two weeks off of the EQ, and I can notice my estrogen is creeping up a little bit, and I I feel good. So 
yeah, too glad I got this out there and I'm done with this and I can do some shit the right way. Um, if you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can comment below, I'll reply to everything, and subscribe if you want to stay updated. Peace.